Now, talking about the coaching area of your business, what is it that you do there? I coach business leaders, uh, everything from startups right through to corporates, uh, but I also coach in education circles as well, uh, coaching head teachers, deputy heads, senior leadership teams, that sort of thing. Right, okay, and your company strapline is, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. Do you really believe that? Absolutely, yeah. Everybody has the ability to achieve anything they want. Uh, and the only thing they need to do is to believe that they can do it. I honestly believe that everyone has uh, the answer to their own issue in their own head. They sometimes just need somebody else to help them bring that answer out. So yes, that company strap line is the way I live my life. And I believe that everybody has that ability. Great, okay. And then you also coined the phrase, business isn't sexy, people are. What's behind that? Behind that really is about networking. Uh, in the past, people have gone to networking events and they've gone as a business card and they just view somebody else as a potential client instead of just going along and developing a relationship with somebody over a period of time. Networking nowadays is, a, is about getting to know people, chatting and developing relationships. It's not about going to an event and bringing back a client or a piece of work. So I, in my presentations, I talk about business not being sexy. Go, go with an open mind and just look at who's there, have a chat with no agenda. Business will follow from that. Okay, great. And uh, also coaching then. Do you really think it makes a big difference within a company? Yeah, coaching the uh, leaders or the managers in the company can make a huge difference. Because again, sometimes they're just too close to the situation to be able to see the obvious thing. Bringing a coach in can help that enormously because it's a third party, fresh pair of eyes, and it's somebody who is challenging their thought processes. Quite often a business will simply go along the same path because that's what they do. Bringing somebody else in like a coach who challenges those thought processes and forces them to ask those questions that they're not asking themselves on a daily basis will help them to move the organisation forward. Great, thank you. And then is there anything that stands out in your mind that you have done when you've been coaching that has helped a business in particular? Uh, yes, um, I, I coached somebody fairly recently and uh, she'd grown her business for four years. Suddenly the business had stopped growing. Uh, we started the coaching session and within 15 minutes I knew exactly why she wasn't growing. Uh, I could have told her but what she might have thought is don't tell me what to do or she might have thought well you could be right. What actually happened is about 40 minutes into the session she suddenly realised herself what the problem was and it was simply the fact that she wasn't delegating to her staff. So there were only 24 hours in a day and she was filling up those 24 hours and then couldn't do any more. As a result of that, within four months, her business had grown so much she had to take on two more members of staff. And I was getting emails from her staff saying, thank you so much for what you did for her because their lives were now so much nicer. Fantastic. Thank you very much.